The crew begins the EVA by egressing the airlock and handing out the tool bags. They then hand out the new adjustable grapple bar, or AGB. They then will translate the AGB onto the external storage platform 2, where they will install it on the FHRC. The new grapple bar will serve as a spare and as an upgrade for future use. Next, EV-1, Nick Haig with the red stripes on his suit, will head out to the worksite on P-4. He will stop to retrieve an APFR, a foot restraint, that he will use during the EVA. EV-2, Christina Cook, will proceed to the CETA cart and deploy a bridge between the P-4 truss and the exposed pallet for the crew. She will translate to the EP and set up the worksite. Cook will start by releasing the high launch torques on all the adapter plate bolts. At this time, Haig will join her at the exposed pallet. The spacewalkers will each retrieve an adapter plate to place on their BRT, then translate to the P4 worksite. Once at the worksite, EV-1 will ingress the APFR. The crew will work together to install an adapter plate into the empty slot. Once the adapter plate is bolted into place, the astronauts will connect cable to complete the battery pair circuit in the first slot. The crew will then get into position to install the adapter plate that EV-1 has into the second empty slot. They will connect cable to mate the second battery pair for this EVA. After adjusting the foot restraint, the crew will proceed to remove and relocate an old battery. The crew will install that old battery on an adapter plate, freeing up the third empty slot on this EVA. Haig and Cook will translate together to the exposed pallet to retrieve the third and final adapter plate. They will clean up the EP worksite and translate back to the P4 worksite. Haig will once again ingress the APFR, and then both astronauts will then work to install the final adapter plate.
After connecting the cable, the crew will give the ground a go to regain the power channel. The crew will start to wrap up work on the EVA by cleaning up the P4 worksite, the CETA cart, and the APFR bridge. This will return the outside of the space station to a nominal configuration. At this point, we should have a little under an hour of spare time left on this EVA. We will use this time to prep P6, which will be the next truss to get upgraded batteries during HTV-8. The P6 spacewalkers will not have the benefit of robotics due to arm reach, so more EVAs will be required. For the remainder of this EVA, we will deploy fabric handrail straps, or gap spanners, and release some of the bolts to help reduce future work. Nick and Cristino will return to the airlock and ingress, completing the EVA.